This audio series is the property of the radio advertising people. Use of this audio is restricted and permission must be sought before use. This audio series is rated 80. Contains strong language. Parental guidance is advised. Episode 2. You are traumatized. Doc, sorry. Sorry. I think I was dreaming. You know what? Calm down. Calm down. This is too much for me. Every night I try to close my eyes. I get nightmares and flashback of the boys raping me. I feel I'm being attacked or someone is going to kill me. Oh, no. Don't say that. What you're experiencing is a post-traumatic stress disorder. Mommy, you know what? If you don't calm down, you can't get a miscarriage. <laughs> this is so difficult. I'm scared, dog. I'm scared. This has been my story since we last spoke. Countless nightmares filled with anxiety attacks. I've been living in fear. Men. Hmm. Rape is not fair. It's so not fair. When you rape a woman, you destroy her soul and crush her spirit. You can't do this to us and expect our lives to be okay afterwards. <laughs> Sex is sacred. Even if it must happen, a woman must be psychologically ready to open up and allow her juices to flow. But when you go against her will, you destroy her. A few months ago, I was raped brutally by four guys. My ex-boyfriend Mike whispered into my ears that the SLC president Max was part of the rapist, but I had no evidence to support the claim. Since then, I have done everything possible to report and have him arrested, but the police station I reported to requested for a statement and blamed me quietly for taking the nude pictures in the first place. A lawyer I was seeking legal advice from just wanted sex before he would do anything to help me. Whilst I battle this pain and head every day, sleeping with nightmares and waking up in fear, crushed and broken, <laughs> the congratulatory messages were rather pouring in for Max. He was being healed by everyone. Whilst he smiled, I hurt so badly. My journey continues. Yo, Max. Yo, Rodney. Tell it. Make you not do like you. They forget me. Oh. Where my invite? Where my invite day? You chop the SRC president. You chop the elections. We. You do like you. They forget boys. Oh, no, oh, 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 Rodney. AKA Agama Lizard. AKA Don. Yo, yo, yo. Stop the fake fans for there. As a day, I don't know who took me give there. You that matter. We. I, I know. I know. Forget that matter. Anyway, Charlie, try and get me like five invites. I will come plus some babies. But hey. My guy, so... Can I make a call you, eh? I could make them bring your invite. You are back. Make a call you, Max, back. Max, wait, wait. Wait. I they ask you, tomorrow, Joey go perform, oh, Charlie. Oh, I hear, I hear. Charlie, make a pick some small call. It'd be very important. Charlie, Charlie, you for make we discuss some very important... Chill, 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 chill. chill. I they pick this call, then call you right back. Hello, Max, my son. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Amwa. Thanks, thank you. Congrats. You've shown a lot of maturity. Hey, well done. May God continue to bless you. Amen. Amen, oh, amen, oh. I will be in class on Monday. God's grace. Oh, that's all right. It's fine. You can take the week off. I'll have the lecture notes mailed to you. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you. Thank you very much, madam. Thank you. Max, congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Ando. <laughs> It was a close call, but I guess the students made their choice. Uh, and they chose you. Well done, young man. Keep focused and keep a clear head. 
All the best, huh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, uh huh. I will pass by the office very soon. <laughs> Max Max, the man of the moment. Mr. Adai. <laughs> Finally, the battle has been won. Impressive. Ah, but what happened? Why did the opposition candidate back out last minute? Well, I guess they foresaw the embarrassment that was coming their way. Ah, it would have been quite that victory for you. Well done, well done. Oh, thank you very much. Sir. Come by for dinner soon, eh? I'll be expecting. Thank you. Oh, sir, and then my greetings to your daughter, e -E Ravna. <laughs> oh, she's fine, she's fine. Oh, you see her when you come by. Tomorrow, the whole campus was going to be at his victory party. <laughs> Max, the newly elected SRC president of my school. On the lighter side, guess who the DJ was? A long-time friend of mine. DJ Viroski. Yo, Queen of the Uni, mommy, what's up? Viroski, hey, I hear from you, Cheo. My only boyfriend that has dogged me. Oh, Charlie, where are you? Half a dog, you find you like you, ba. Please, please, please. When was the last time you called me? Hey, so what's new with you? Right, dear, dear, your level, dear, I know the seat up. Oh, Charlie, hmm. no more. Are you coming for the party tomorrow? I'm playing at Max's victory party. Hmm, not even if a Lamborghini came to pick me up. I beg, I beg, please. Oh, why, Charlie? Some fighter, nah. You, I will tell you later, but me, nah, I won't be around. I have to go and see my mom. I'll be back on Sunday. Oh, okay. Greet mommy, give me, yeah. Charlie, tell him, say, Charlie, her soup, yeah. If I give you some, make you bring out to me, oh. Auntie Ajoa, that's how everyone calls her. I have never really said much about my mom in my entire story. She's my rock, my everything. She sells local dishes in her car, her small kiosk. It doesn't bring much, but at least it keeps her going. My mom is an illiterate. She doesn't speak English and also hypertensive. So I'm very cautious what I say to her. Ma. Uh, Mamna, hello? Ma, me tonka, me tonka. Hello, hello? Hello? Hello, Ma. Abna. Ma. Aha. Eh, fili me tonka. Na ho ye. Eh, no, me nti mi anfre. Wo san san me ni credit am de befro. Ma, eh, 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 fine. Some me catch us me fro. Now, Ma, me ni skaw. Bit me say ni mi skaka kwa. Oh, wo se kana sa. Nancy, where did it Ma, they be on me, did it yet? Come with me, oh. Oh, oh dear. Oh, my man, not three hundred thousand. Eh, since I cross, I see can what can I say? If someone can thirty can I see this? And and then me shut down to her. Now, so the best for my money, so dear, bro, what's the matter? Okay, and then me change you. Aha, Ma, come now, so I'm going to so pay you. Me, baby, me. Eh, mm, I just saw Ban so no Ababaji. Catch you and say, Miss Miss Sibi, be a crammer, no, I say, Oh, um, Ram, and Jenna, Finna, the dog, oh, Pabuna. Okay, make her train. Eh, ma, a patcho, me, thirty gana, no patcho, and who am pa? Ayo, I was a mecosia until the itch him a fro. Why? Mabna, show who ye, and the mamma, woman, but woman, yang, 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 I'm broke. Very broke. I still haven't told my mom I was pregnant. I feared for her health. I needed money to go to the hospital for checkup. My doctor friend advised that I start my regular maternity visit. I'm getting on 10 weeks now. Yes, I decided to keep the pregnancy. As for who the father is, I will find out. But for now, I needed money. Let me introduce you to one of my hardest girlfriends. Whom I had to tend to. I was desperate. Hello, mommy. Mommy, hold on. I'm on the other phone. Yeah, but you have to pay. How many girls do you need? Okay, okay. Then I'll bring four. But please send me money now. Because they have to go and fix their nails, hair. You know and stuff okay okay sure i'm waiting later okay later bye hello mommy jennifer hey who are you collecting money for charlie girlfriend i have to survive oh. employment is not guaranteed after hmm. school me now nah, i can see you some big men are throwing some party next week and they needed some girls ah mommy you cry you're mine for day oh. 
What are you using this body for? Jenny, I beg. What I have been through these past few weeks, eh? What? Ah, ah, you don't like money? Of course. But what would they want the girls to do? Ah, what do you expect? <laughs> it is no small post you are going to play there, oh mommy. They are politicians, who They have money. You need to treat them well. Politicians? Those people are dangerous, so me, I don't trust them. Uh, and what do you mean by treat them well? Hey, are you in class three? Look, if they want you to hang out with them, that has to be a different price. If they want to f that has to be a different price. Um, so what if they get there and change their mind? You know, men, they would definitely want to have sex at a point. Yeah, so you have to be careful. Hey, but that's not safe for what if they rape you? Hey, do you want money or you are thinking of rape? Hmm. Jenny, I need money desperately. I don't even know how to ask. But, hmm. Um, so, how much would they pay if I join and I don't want to have sex? For this one, dear mommy, they would want sex because it's a sleepover. But it's 2,000 per head. I'll take 500 CDs, so... 1005 is yours. But if you want to be part, then you have to let me know because <laughs> these level 200 girls, they make wild pass. Hmm. Okay, so how does it work? What do I have to do? I can't believe I'm signing up for this. Mommy, first off, I have to trust you because this job is dangerous. If you are no, I'll be sacked from this school and you put the clients in trouble. And the girls who are relying on these monies, they are chow. So, it will spoil business if you go and do yawa. Jenny, I understand. And there are a few rules. I'm listening. Please, you have to let me know all the deals the clients bring to you. So, if they call you on the side without informing me, you are out. Secondly, mommy, you must disclose all monies that you are given. And also, don't pass back and try and chase a client that I've already given to somebody else. Hope you understand. These big men, they all know themselves. Yeah, I get it. But isn't that prostitution? Ah, are you here giving descriptions or you want the money? You, you, sorry, sorry. So, Jennifer, you cry. How many men are you f***ing? Currently, three rich men. I got pregnant for one, but Charlie, I did an abortion. Hey, where did you do it? What, what did they do? Hey, are you pregnant? Oh, I just wanted to know. Well, I went to some hospital in my area. They gave me some pills and some long instruction. Be me, I don't want to remind myself of the pain. But I beg, if you ever get pregnant, keep it. Even if you're not ready for it? Ready? Are we ever ready for pregnancy? The man wasn't ready for a side chick baby, so I had to abort it. But see, just be careful. Make sure you take your pills so that you avoid pregnancy. Remember, we are students. Anyway, please, I need to know, do you want to join? I have to get the girls ready. You add me to them. But Jenny, please, can you give me some advance? I beg. You, you be my girl. I'll send you 750 now. But I'll give you 1,400 instead of 1,500 as your cut. Deal? Yeah, deal.